Round one of the Storm Cup about to get underway for 2024. Weather conditions, a bit like you'd, how you'd like your porridge in the morning. Not too hot, not too cold. Expect to see some free-flowing footy to start this contest. Plenty of excitement out there. Both sides boasting talent that featured in the Harold Matthews competition for the Melbourne Storm this season. Ten of those players lining up for Hallam and Vic Uni kicking off. So Hallam will have first use of the footy. Round one. Underway for 2024, and it's Vacker quickly bringing it off the back fence and leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. Hallam no doubt looking to muscle up and march their way downfield in the early exchanges. Some big boys through the middle for them this season. Mikovarana gets his first run. Heading out to this left-hand side. Grenice. Now Woods, no mistakes in Hallam's first set, chance for an attacking kick here from Beatty, floating in the breeze and well taken at the back. Now Vic Uni a chance to find a response of their own, pinned down their own end as a strong start from Hallam, making metres for ease in that opening set, the likes of Vaca, Varana, Woods all getting involved. Vic Uni, a few outs from that team that won the competition last year, the likes of Masala Masu, Norris Matu, Keddy, Lorenzo Fafida, no longer in the sides, so that void no doubt filled by some of the younger talent coming through the system at Vic Uni. The likes of Elijah Poaching, Lockyer Azil Foliola at their disposal. No Poaching for them this afternoon. Foliola lining up at the lock position, and here is Waka Hammond. Melbourne Storm, young Tonamapea, under-17 player of the year, brings the ball back, and Vic Uni force an error, but penalty go in the way of Hallam. Stripped free illegally, calling the referee. Yeah, Waka Hammond, he had a fantastic season for the Melbourne Storm in the Harold Matthews competition in 2024. Capable of playing at fullback or in the halves. Taking out that Player of the Year award. So dangerous with the ball in hand and also creating opportunities for those around him. So how long are we looking to utilise their big forward pack and allow the likes of Beatty and Hammond and Co to play off the back of it? And that penalty has gifted them some good field position. Got all the running to start this first half. Vada. Vaca. Another one of those Harold Matthews representatives. May out dummy half. Little wrap around. Wallace trying to put a move on his opposite number. Brought to ground looking for a quick play of the ball. Looking to barge over from close range. Tasili. Brought down just shy. Hallam all set up to the left. Varna had to pick it up around the boot laces. Eventually comes out Beatty's way. Shows it. Looking to shrug off one. Shrugging off two. Fifth and last now for Hallam from dummy half. Hard to stop from close range. And Hallam have the first try of 2024 for the Storm Cup. I believe it was Mayo just diving over from the quick play of the ball. Vic Uni unable to get back defensively. And a dream start for the side that was narrowly defeated in the grand final last year. Vic Uni just on the back foot. Some of the Hallam Fords muscling up early. That strip on Vaca Hammond a few moments ago gave them the field position and after threatening down the right-hand side... Isaac Beatty's strong run was rewarded with a quick play of the ball and Hallam took full advantage.
take this chance to run through the team list for both sides. Waka Hammond, who I mentioned just earlier, at fullback for Hallam. Latrell Courts on the wing alongside Safida Halatawili. In the centres, Waka Brown, Rapana Edwards and Memphis Wallace. In the half, Cyrus Perenese and Isaac Beatty. Looking up the forwards, Alapate Vaka is joined the front row by Phoenix Woods. LeBron Mao at hooker, Jaden Matata Mua and Ezekiel Tausili in the second row pairing as that conversion attempt successful. Makavarana at the lock position and on the bench, Elijah Waitford, Ryder Sparrow, CJ Baskamolan, Jackson Samuel Ili and Ethan Cook making up the pine, while for Vic Uni at fullback Jethro Scanlon. On the wing, Orlando Fafida, Josiah Jones Tiao, Houston Gallagher and Leon Panufu. In the halves, Noel McMahon, Dinama Scanlon, making out the front row, Kaisara Fagalelli and Lawrence Raponi. Hooker position, Harvey Savage. Second row pairing of Anais Jones, Tiao, Denzo Atelio, and at lock, Lockyer Azilfo Liola. Awarded the best forward for the Harold Matz side this year for the Melbourne Storm. Sandra Tigers Jr. has an error on the back of points from Hallam. Just opening the door for Vic Uni to find a response of their own. Their first real meaningful opportunity with the ball in hand. Basically been defending for the opening seven minutes or so of this contest and a chance now to find points of their own. Such a strong performer last season, Vic Uni. Looking to replicate that right here. Raponi. First real test of this Hallam defence. Savage goes out to the left-hand side. McMahon keeps it going. Bonifu had to cut back in to avoid being bundled into touch. They look to head back towards the post. At the Leo. Varanat was out there to meet him. Fifth and last now for Vic Uni. Little grubber put in behind, hoping for it to sit up, and it forced Hammond to play at the ball. Forcing the repeat set. It was a nice little kick there from Lockyer Azilfoliola. Showing he's not just a one-trick pony, putting in the nice little grubber in behind, and Waka Hammond not taking any chances, batting the ball dead. So, ball back, and this has been lofted long by Hammond. Vic Uni going all the way back inside their own 40. It's a bit of a breeze there to his advantage, and as a result, Jethro Scanlon brings it back, and they'll start their set just shy of halfway. Nice, Jones TL. We've seen a lot of the NRL sides going short from the line dropouts. Not on that case by Hallam, and it worked wonders. Almost 60 metres on the fly. A couple of tackles already used up in this set for Vic Uni. Runs towards Vaca. Vaca bounces off. All of a sudden, Vic Uni with a bit of spring in their step moving forward. Charging onto it. Atalio goes under the post and straight through the front door. Denzo Atalio responds in the best possible fashion for Vic Uni. And in the blink of an eye, score's about to be tied right back up. Just a man on a mission, Denzo Atalio. But straight through the heart of the Hallam defence. Wasn't going to be stopped from close range. And two tries inside the opening 10 minutes of this round one fixture. Well, there's plenty of excitement leading into today's game. Last year's grand finalists, two heavyweights of the Storm Cup competition going toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. And so far, the fans that have turned out here at Seabrook Reserve, all those... Tuning in on the live stream, being treated to an exciting start. As the conversion waved away from right in front, so that Breeze perhaps playing some havoc. Breeze well and truly behind Hallam in this first half. We saw from that Hammond line dropout just a few moments ago. Nonetheless, you have to expect that goal kicker be knocking them over from that kind of distance. 
Tanana Scanlon unsuccessful in his first attempt. So 6 4, the score remains. Hallam leading over Vic Uni. the air, a slight bit of miscommunication between the two players, fortunately coming away unscathed. This game of course taking place at Seabrook Reserve, after finding itself to be a new home for Rugby League in the north here in Victoria. I've seen a number of Rugby League specific venues start to pop up around different suburbs around Melbourne. State Centre almost near completion or opening, I do believe. Great opportunity for games like this to be played on some quality fields. Strong run, it's the try scorer. Azaleo barges straight through the middle. Thought about the offload, thought better of it. Eventually goes to hand out the back and it comes into the hands of a Hallam player. But earns his side a penalty. So Denzo and Leo. What a couple of moments, minutes for him. Of course, in the inaugural season of the Storm Cup, Hallam and the Grange played off for a draw in that final. Before Vic Uni got the spoils last season. Five of these academy schools in Victoria going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Like I touched on, plenty of representative talent right across the park. I mean, 12 players from the Storm's Harold Matthews team out there this afternoon. Nine weeks under the Storm system. Playing consistent football. Learning the ways of the land. No doubt those players, the better of it. The likes of Lockyer, Azulfo Liola, one of them. Making big steps in their development to try and take that next step. Like any of these school competitions, rivalries and bragging rights well and truly up for grabs. We once teammates in the Storm Colours and well, enemies out there on the field this afternoon. And so that penalty, just giving Vic Uni the running the past couple of minutes or so after Hallam's hot start. Hallam thought they were going to come here and have it all their way. Vic Uni side, coached by Tony Adams, about to say otherwise. Is through the dummy, McMahon tried to go himself, chopped down around the ankles. Savage. Messi play the ball, and the error coming. As Noel McMahon tried to play the ball quickly, he's claiming that a Hallam player was causing interference. Of course, no Jeremiah Nelly for Hallam this season. We've seen him feature in the past couple of Storm Cups. That void well and truly filled by the likes of Vacker Woods, providing the muscle and the grunt up front. So with that breeze going behind Hallam, just how crucial will this final 16 and a bit minutes of this first half be? Vicini, of course, running into the wind. Hallam feed the scrum, ask to go back. Try that one again. And eventually, back underway, Beatty, Hammond, looking to put it through the hands. Ball hits the deck, it was touched. And the error off the back of the scrum. Hallam tried to put on an early spread. Waka Brown, Rapana Edwards. Put 
We'll get out of jail. Free card there for Hallam. They get the penalty going their way. They could have found Rapana Edwards. There's a little bit of open pasture in front of them. As Hammond sends that up onto the state centre roof. Matatamua. Nice interchange of passing there between the forwards, but forward pass called. As Woods tried to link up with Vaca through the middle of the field. That unforced error just gifting the ball back to Vic Uni and they'll start their set just shy of halfway. It's the right idea from the likes of Woods and Vaca that short end change of passing, looking to Catch out the Vic Uni forwards in the middle third of the field. Just getting their wires crossed on that occasion. The timing slightly off and the forward pass. Gifting the ball back to Vic Uni. Scanlon feeds the scrum. McMahon heads out to this left-hand side. Pops the ball around the corner. Cuts back. Pass May out. Eventually brought to ground. That's Leo. Once again, trying to pop that ball at the back. Second phase footy, a valuable asset to his game. Zia Foliola, through the hands. Scanlon, steps off the right foot, runs back towards Waka Brown, Rapana Edwards. Jones Tia with the dummy half duties. Scanlon, Jones Tia, brought down just shy. Vic Udy on the attack, looking for back-to-back -back tries. Throws the dummy, looking to step. Pops the ball around the corner. And Vic Uni dive in once again. But it won't count. Forward pass, I believe, the calling. Once again, Denzo Atalio. Just taking the contact, looking to pop the ball around the corner. Massive let off right there for Hallam. They'll be desperate to complete a set. It's been some frustrating football for their coach, Janet Billings, no doubt. After what was such a strong start, they completed early and were re rewarded with points. Since then, they've been willing to try the expansive brand of football inside their own half, and that high-risk, high-reward football not so far paying off for them. That breeze behind them, you have to feel as though you complete your set and look to put a driving kick down into Vic Uni's halves and pin them in their own end. So far, Vic Uni, they've looked threatening down that left hand edge. Just see the likes of Adelio popping up, looking to create numbers. Noah McMahon floating across there in the number six jersey as well. Just testing out the likes of Wallace and Co on that right edge. So after a slight teams meeting in the middle, the boys eventually put their heads in to pack the scrum. Big boys in the middle, no doubt, relishing this extra time. Put some air into the lungs. Once again, I'm going to go back and try that one again. Death taxes and footy players struggling to feed a scrum. The second time of asking, we're underway. Beatty, once again, quickly shifting off straight through the defence of Vic Uni, but eventually chopped down around the ankles there by Gallagher. I don't know. Now Vaka. Elijah Wayford out into the action for Hallam. Featuring for the Harold Matthews side this year. Hallam boasting Wayford and Sparrow, both 
Harold Matt's representatives coming off the bench. Wait for Beatty. Had to go back to get it. Now straightening. Rapana Edwards. Brought down by Savage around the legs. Fifth and last. Beatty. Grubbers through. Well positioned at the back. Was Scanlon. Had a little spill. Left it behind him and eventually seized upon by the oncoming Hallam traffic. Just had a little look up there, Jethro Scanlon. Had plenty of blue and red jerseys swarming upon him. and As a result, Isaac Beatty earning his side a repeat set. Hallam just executing Jan and Billing's plan right there. Getting through their set, putting in a nice kick, and as a result, giving them a chance for more points. Just under 10 minutes remain in this first half. Atalio just receiving some treatment on his own goal line. So watch this ball sit up in the breeze. Well, it won't do that because he's gone right across the turf. And as a result, Wallace will bring it back. Hallam look to work it back towards the post. Vaca Carries Foliola with him. Looking for a quick play, the ball. Waitford, it's a messy one. And a knock-on. Incorrect play, the ball from Alapate Vaca. Golden opportunity goes begging for Hallam. They were set out to this left-hand side. Isaac Beatty was calling for it. As a result, Vic Uni will feed the scrum 10 metres out from their own line. So if you're just tuning in, round one of the Storm Cup for 2024 underway here at Seabrook Reserve. Eight minutes remain in this first half. Hallam leading six points to four over last year's reigning premiers, Victoria Uni. As now an error from Vic Uni themselves gives the ball straight back. Apera coming up with the fumbles. Vic Uni, they prevailed in a thrilling 16-14 win in that Storm Cup final from last season. Hallam, who were joint premiers in the inaugural season, looking to get a bit of revenge on their rival here this afternoon and kick off their 2024 campaign in the best possible fashion. It's been somewhat of an even contest to start this game. Both sides having their chances. Looking dangerous ball in hand. Beatty first receiver. Hammond turns on the afterburner. Skips through one. Skips through two. And a bit of strike power. And showing what he can do. Waka Hammond. Just allowed the time and space on that left hand side. And once he clicked into gear, too big, too strong, close to the line. And a bit of individual brilliance extends this Hallam lead. Well, you can see right there just why he's the young Tonema player, under-17s player of the year, Waka Hammond. That speed and strength that he possesses, making him a tough customer for the Vic Uni defence. And after that error, coming off their own line, Hallam make Vic Uni pay. Now Hammond looking to add the extra two points to his own try. Hammond that Casey Warriors Jr. lines up this attempt to make it an eight point lead. Starts it out to the right, but that's where it'll stay. So Hallam leading 10 points to four.
So with five minutes remaining in this first half, Vic Uni looking to find a response. Hallam looking to take this momentum into the sheds. Scanlon gets us back underway. Charging onto it, CJ Baskamolan. Start this set 35 metres out from their own line. Berenice hands it off. Waitford. Fadlina. Woods. Wrestling there with his Storm teammate and Foliola. Beatty shows it. Goes himself. Slips out of one tackle. Still going. Eventually the Cavalry arrive to bring him to ground. Hammond. Puts it high up in the sky. Receives some contact after kicking. The ball allowed to bounce. Always a dangerous proposition for any defending team. And it falls kindly in Hallam. Make it back-to-back -back tries. Jaden Matatamoa pounced on the loose football. Well, let it bounce at your own demise. Right there for Vic Uni. Playing with fire, letting that ball bounce. No one came out to catch it. We'll collect it cleanly. And the ball sat up on a platter for Jaden Matatamoa who goes over and quickly extends Hallam's lead. Well, some really positive signs to come out of this first half of this Hallam Ford pack. Making metres for fun. Just immediately putting the pressure right back on Vic Uni after marching downfield with the wind at their back, it must be said. And Hammond put up that kick. It was a, a shallow one. It wasn't dealt with by Vic Uni and a gift for Mat Matatamua. As Hammond adds the extras, 16 points to four the score. Hallam leading over Vic Uni here at Seabrook Reserve for round one of the Storm Cup competition for 2024. The second time in a matter of minutes, Vic Uni get us back underway, and it's a diving catch attempted there by Perenese. He looked like Michael Hussey at point trying to dive for that ball and take the spectacular. Uh, he spilled his lollies, and as a result, hands the ball back to Vic Uni. And what a golden opportunity this is for them to find a response right before half time. The try right here will completely change the complexion of this contest. One set to defend here for Hallam. Scanlon. Now Jethro Scanlon. Heavy contact as Jones Tiao. Looked to bring it forward, ran straight at Beatty. Beatty standing his ground. Foliola. So now. Going to pick up some post contact meters. Savage. Raponi. So to this right hand side. You go left, go for the crash play. Plenty of Hallam jerseys under the ball to stop him close to the line. One last roll of the dice here for Vic Uni. Lucky Foliola. 
brings it back with well position Waka Brown Rapana Edwards and he'll be trapped in his own in goal whether there'll be enough time for Vic Uni to get the football back and attempt one last raid yet to be seen they might have to produce the spectacular as the half time siren about to sound and as a result Waka Hammond finds touching would have got the ball back for his side anyway so that will be all we have for the first half Hallam 16 points to four leading over Victoria Uni here at Seabrook Reserve in round one of the Storm Cup competition for 2024 Welcome back to the second half of this round one Storm Cup clash between Hallam and Vic Uni here at Seabrook Reserve. It's Hallam leading 16 points to four with Wacker Hammond to get us back underway for the second half. Vic Uni with the breeze behind their backs in this second 30. And we are well poised for an exciting end to this contest. Both these teams have plenty of history. Vic Uni, 16-14 winners in last year's grand final. And kicking off 2024 with the two heavyweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe right here. Hallam had the better start. They jumped out of the gate to try to LeBron me out. Before Vic Uni hit back with a try of their own through Denzel Atalio. And then two tries in quick succession for Hallam has given them the 12-point buffer. Jaden Matatamua and Waka Hammond, the other try scorers for the man in red and Blue. Vic Uni looking to complete early. Raponi. Comes out. Dinama Scanlon. Low driving kick. Caught around the boot laces and now brought back for Hallam and look to try and reply. Return serve. Vic Uni wrestling up. Muscling up, I should say, in defense. Hallam show that when they control the football, it's such a dangerous outfit. Ball control somewhat of an issue in that first half for both teams, must be said. Waka Hammond, that right foot step left Lawrence Raponi in his wake. Gets him up past their own 40 metre line. Ball back on the inside, heavy contact coming through. And the penalty going Hallam's way. CJ Busker Molan rocking up through the middle. <laughs> We're just joining us, we touched on the first half the caliber of talent on show in the Storm Cup in 2024. 12 of these players today having represented the Melbourne Storm in the Harold Matthews competition. Nine week season that recently completed. The likes of Waka Hammond, Lockyer, Azil Foliola. Two of the big names out there this afternoon for respective teams. Hallam now back on the attack. Whiteford looking to take a run from dummy half. Well read there defensively by Vic Uni. Now back to back dummy half runs. Padana, no way through. Whiteford, they go the crash play. And the ball spills free illegally, so Lawrence Raponi putting his hand in the cookie jar right there and coming away with the football. So more pressure mounting for Vic Uni. Woods. Right in front of the uprights. Options to their right and options to their left. Wayford goes left. Beatty, Hammond, left foot step, runs towards John Stiel. Beatty throws the dummy, chopped down around the ankles there by Savage. Look at a crash their way through and the ball hitting the deck and Vic Uni coming out the other side with the football. 
Pressure pass there for Jaden Matatamua. Came steaming onto it right up in the face of the Vic Uni defence. And the Vic Uni defence doing enough to put the try score off his game and cough up the football. Touched on for Vic Uni. It's a different side to the one that won the Premiership last year. No Philip Masalasulu, Norris Matu, no Aidan Keddy, no Lorenzo Fafida. One of those players playing key roles in that grand final victory. Coach Tony Adams is plenty of experience, years of experience in the Victorian rugby league scene as the ball stripped free. Memphis Wallace in the trail courts. The guilty party. Adams no doubt looking to turn towards some of the younger prospects in this Vic Uni team. Hey Howlin, let's get the ball. So that penalty will give Vic Uni the chance to start their set right on halfway. Orlando Fafita asked to try that one again. Denzel Atelio. Taken there by Busca Molan. Lucky Azil Foliola. Slips out of one tackle but eventually brought down. Bikini crying for a second effort there on the tackle. Just as we saw Hallam do in the first half with that breeze behind their backs, making metres for ease as they march downfield. Roponi playing the ball. Foliola. McMahon. Strong shot. Memphis Wallace came out to meet him. That Hallam defence jamming in. Illegally so. So the pressure continues to mount here for Hallam. Vic Uni looking to find a response to try... Well and truly puts them back on track to mount a second half comeback. Asaleo, he's been a handful all afternoon long. Rewarded with that opening try. McMahon. Ball slips out the back and caught there by Galagia. Fafita couldn't handle it as the play is taken down. I think it was Noah McMahon just hit after passing. So the young half just receiving some treatment right there. Chance for Vic Uni to orchestrate their next attack. Plenty of depth to their attack. They've got Scanlon all the way out the back in this right-hand side. The likes of Dinama Scanlon also in the number seven jersey. Floating in behind Lockyer Azil Foliola. Savage. That's Leo. Foliola had to reach for it behind him and reel it in. Savage heads out to the right. Scanlon. Short pass. It's the offload. But a second phase football now for Jethro Scanlon. Stopping starting but caught on his heels. Ball across the face. Raponi. Pops the ball out the back, hard to stop. Second phase footy at its best. And Vic Uni get the spoils in this second half. Coming to life. And Vic Uni now a chance to put themselves down by only six points. Didn't take them long to find their first points of the second half. Some nice second phase footy just opening up and unlocking that Hallam defence. I believe it might have been Lawrence Raponi who is the try scorer. Couldn't quite make out his number amongst the Sea of Hallam jerseys crowding around that goal line area. The try nonetheless, so an important kick coming up for Harvey Savage. Tanama Scanlon 
off the goal kicking duties it seems after missing that attempt from right in front in the first half. Savage steps in and well it was unconventional unconventional barely left the tarmac but does just enough to get it up and over the crossbar Harvey Savage always doing his own crossbar challenge but nonetheless the two points are added six points the margin Hallam leading 16 10 over Vic Uni 20 minutes remain in this second half In a contest where there's not much separating these two teams, both possess, possess plenty of talent right across the park. Just how crucial could be that missed two points to start the game for Vic Uni B as we head further down the stretch as they try and complete after points. Jones the out. Always a spring in his step. Damaging ball runner. That right edge. Proponi. Taken there by Varana. Slow play the ball. Savage. Just getting their wires crossed. Eventually hands it back off to his front rower. Wrestling there with a fellow big man in the middle. Two heavyweights going at it. Now Scanlon, charged down here by Beatty, looking to collect his own charge down. A little spill there as he went to dive on the ball. Hallam allowed to play on with it. Waitford. Perenese, looking to weave his way back through traffic. Comes into a dead end in the form of Lucky Azil Foliola. Well, great play there from the half Isaac Beatty. Those little 1% of plays. Pressure axe. He came up with the goods, winning the ball back for his team, and all of a sudden, straight back on the attack. Arapate Vaca on the field as well, and here he is charging onto it, straight off the back fence. Foliola and Co. there to meet him. Numbers out this right hand side, that's where they go. Perenese puts it through the hands, and through a hole they go. It's Tausili. Ezekiel Tausili gets it on the action. And Hallam find a response of their own. Well put that down to the charge down from Isaac Beatty just a few moments ago. Vic Uni looking to complete after points. He came up with the big play. Put his team well and truly back on attack. And after shifting to that right hand side, Perenese put his edge back rower who did the rest. Well, the seesawing nature of this contest continues. Hallam finding a try of their own after Vic Uni scored one just a few moments ago. So I believe Lawrence Raponi. Waka Hammond with the chance to put this out to two converted tries. To start this out the right hand side. Breeze blowing across the go face of goal. Curling to the left and waved away. Perhaps on a day with no wind, that would have gone straight over the black dot, but not on the windy conditions here at Seabrook Reserve. Took it AFL style in front of his face with the hands to the sky. Hands it off to Vaca. Ran straight at Raponi. Outside backs chiming in. Memphis Wallace looking to help out his forwards, bringing them out of trouble. 
Wrestling there with McMahon. Back of the decoy. Varana brought to ground. Chopped down around the legs. It's Ryder right Sparrow out there now for Hallam and Hammond kicking low and hard across. Finds the turf. Scooped up by Jethro Scanlon. Strong run through the middle. Plenty of post-contact meters there from Aperia. And more coming. This time in the form of Gallega. Hallam on the back foot. Vic Uni the running through the middle third of the field. And now a penalty to compound that. Things just going from bad to worse there for Hallam. Some strong carries from the Vic Uni Fords earning their side a penalty. Hallam unable to reset defensively and as a result a full set coming up here for Vic Uni who trail. Ten points the margin but a chance to cut that down. Jones Tiao. Quick play the ball. Foliola wasting a little time in picking it up and Taking a run from dummy half. Around the boot laces, he's brought to ground and penalties and then 10 in the bin. So the second effort, I believe it's on Wacker Hammond who just came in over the top. After Varana brought Lockie Azil Foliola around the boot laces. And with Vic Uni well and truly in a try scoring position, they had all the running. Wacker Hammond's flop there, earning him 10 minutes in the bin. So from Hero to Villain for Vaka Hammond in this contest, he scored that try in the first half. Now Hallam down a man and down one of their most strong performers, must be said. The golden opportunity, this is for Vic Uni to turn the table. Raponi. Bypasses Savage as the first receiver. Comes out McMahon. Well wrapped up there by Memphis Walsh. Once again jamming in. Savage from dummy half. Runs at Vacker. Vic Uni looking to head back towards the post. Foliola at dummy half. Crash play once again. It's Adelio. And Adelio grabs a second. And Vic Uni with all the running. When it rains it pours. Chipping away at this Hallam lead. And they are well and truly back in the running right now. Denzo Adelio grabs his second for the afternoon. Once again, too big, too strong, close to the line. Well, it only took a couple of plays after Wacker Hammond falls from the field from that sin bin before Vic Uni came up with the spoils. Now Harvey Savage to make it a four-point game. Well, you just felt as though coming into this game, it wasn't going to disappoint. These two sides know how to put on a show as Savage's attempts unsuccessful. His first attempt wasn't exactly all that flattering, and that one not doing him any favours right there for... Young Harvey Savage, so six points, the margin. And after such a great grand final this year, round one of 2024, kicking off in the exact same kind of fashion. These two schools going toe to toe in this game, well and truly in the balance. Looking to keep the good times rolling on. 
up a man and down a try. It's game well and truly on here at Seabrook Reserve. Foliola hands it on to Gallagher. Bypasses Savage and then burrowing his way up past halfway is Raponi. Foliola, no look pass, bouncing off one tackle. Ball spills free. It's going to be touch from Hallam. Touch of lucky in that for Vic Uni, but they'll take it. A full set now inside Hallam's half. Can set up shop. Try and come away with the goods. Real test right here for the Hallam defence. Some of the strike power that Vic Uni have, they're going to be asking all sorts of questions. The likes of Savage, Jones Tiao, Foliola. So they head out to this right hand side. Josiah Jones Tiao, the right centre for Vic Uni. Plenty of feeling between these two schools. Vic Uni, Savage. Three tackles used up. Foliola. Laid off low before quickly seized upon there by Vaca. Mayal in there as well for Hallam. They go to this right-hand side. Scanlon. Jethro Scanlon cut out pass, looking to cut back on the inside. The cavalry arriving for Hallam. They bring him down just shy. Fifth and last for Vic Uni. Last roll of the dice. Little grubber in behind, picked up. But it's going to be a knock on. It was a reflex action there as they tried to trap the ball. That was destined for the in goal area. But unfortunately for a Hallam perspective, it, all it does is gift the ball straight back to Vic Uni, who can reset, reload and go again. Inside the final 10 minutes of this round one clash. Couldn't have scripted better. Couldn't have scripted a better way to start this 2024 season. The reigning premiers down by six. Eight and a half minutes to go and attacking the Hallam line. Adelio, he's been their best all afternoon. Slips out of one, slips out of two and eventually chopped down by Varana. Foliola dummy half. Crash play close to the post. Strong contact there from Tausili. Little wrap around looking to burrow his way. Lawrence Raponi. But Hallam do enough promoting the football, I believe. And Hallam survive of an onslaught. What a key moment that could be in the context of this contest. Vic Uni looking to go direct and straight through the middle. Just one off the ruck passes, trying to barge their way over from close range. Not utilising the likes of McMahon or Tanama Scanlon out wide. And the Hallam defence up to the task. Sparrow. Runs straight at Noah McMahon. Hallam must be clean. Wacker Hammond there. Not in action. Still serving that. He's servicing the sin bin, watching from the sidelines. His left hand side, Beatty. And the knock on, so not what the doctor ordered right there from Hallam. Just a little spill from Beatty as he tried to reel the ball in. After they did so well to defend their line a few moments ago. It's an unforced error putting themselves under all sorts of pressure once again. Fatigue starting to set in there for both teams. You can see a play down. Just dealing with cramp as we get towards the latter stages of this second half. It's been plenty of feeling and 
Plenty of strong carries from both teams. A nice Jones T out just hobbling to try and deal with that issue. Clock continues to tick away. Six minutes remain. Vic Uni down by a converted try. Tanama Scanlon's misconversion from right in front. All of a sudden looking all the more costly. Won't matter if they can find a try right here. Orlando Fafida. Brought down by Wallace. Savage. Foliola. Harold Matthews' best forward of the year. Sunbury Tigers Jr. The pony. Put himself on the try scorer sheet this afternoon. Head at this right hand side. Runs straight at Varana. Gets the offload away. Raponi back again. Foliola close to the post. Bounce out of one. Bounce out of two. Lofts the ball on this right hand side. They have numbers. They put it through the hands and a spill. With the try line right in front of them. Josiah Jones Tiao puts it down. And a try goes begging for Vic Uni. What a missed opportunity. They had them shot to bits on that left edge for Hallam. And Vic Uni couldn't land the decisive blow. Jones Tiao puts it down. What a massive let off for Hallam. Vic Uni, they've done all the hard work. It was a bit of ad lib footy. Look at Azil Foliola bouncing out of a couple of tackles before throwing an exuberant cutout pass and Scanlon put it through the hands on the right edge. Just couldn't add the final product. A strong run out of his own end. From the troll courts right there, picking up some valuable meters to try and wrestle back momentum. Now Phoenix Woods. Bad enough. Strong contact there from Adelio. And a penalty as a result. So the swinging arm on Varana right there. So that swinging arm from Adelio, it's a real piggyback out of their own end for Hallam. Chance to Take a few more seconds off the clock with Wackerhaven back out there. We're able to repel this Vic Uni attack despite being down a man. With the breeze behind Vic Uni's back in this second half. They have had the opportunities. Just un unable to ice them in the crucial moments. So Michael Varana is going to make his way off the field after that hit. Oscar Molan enters the fray. So that penalty... Just wiping a minute of play off the clock, and eventually Memphis Wallace gets us back under play. Sparrow. Hallam won't mind one bit. Down the short side they go. Hammond slips three or one. Slips three or two, gets the offload out the back. Mayo. Ten metres out from the Vic Uni line. A chance to ice it right here. Down this left-hand side, Beatty shows the dummy. Full being met by a number of Vic Uni players on this right-hand side. Quick play the ball. Seized upon upon the line. The ball spills free. And so Vic Uni will win the football back. They need to hurry to pack the scrum here. 90 seconds remain in this contest, and they need to go coast to coast.
last year's reigning premiers down a converted try. They'll probably have one final set, you'd have to think. They have to go 90 metres to score. What can they dish up? They go the early kick and it's a foot race. The trail court's coming back there for Hallam and he wins the race and wins the ball back. Well, Vic Uni, they tried the trick play. The trail court showing plenty of toe to come away with the football as they go down the blind side. Vic Uni trying to bundle him into touch. You need to be careful not to give away the penalty. Rocker Brown Rapana Edwards. Just milking a few extra seconds off the clock. Hallam go for the kick, interestingly. Now Jethro Scanlon to bring it back for Vic Uni. Well, Hallam just had to hold on to the football there. They win the contest. I'm not entirely sure why they went for the kick. They've given the ball back to Vic Uni for one final trick play, perhaps. Inside the final five seconds. Now or never for Vic Uni. They go for the little chip and chase. Numbers back there and Hammond will collect the football and Smith to the tackle. And we are treated to another classic in the Storm Cup competition. It's Hallam. 20 points to 14 winners over Vic Uni in round one of the Storm Cup for 2024. And after being pipped by Vic Uni in the grand final last season, Hallam, they get their revenge and they get a victory to start their campaign this season.